I'm going to say something and it's going to sound completely opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. Is it too late to become a software engineer in 2024 or even later because, well, AI is going to take over? There's a lot of good videos and talks about this topic. There's one here from Steve-O the Dev. Is it too late to become a software engineer? I think it's a really good video. Make sure you go check it out. And there's also this one by Theo, where he talks about, you know, this can't be good. And particularly, he focuses on this graph, which showcases the number of job postings available in the United States. And you can see here at the end or the halfway point of 2020, we saw this uptick of number of jobs posting. We saw it pretty much dominate this high level for all of 2020. 22, and now it has come down and it's approaching lower levels or matching the levels of 2020 before this bull run, if you will. Now we can go, you know, back and forth as to, well, does it matter about the number of layoffs? We can see here that interestingly enough, the number of job postings in 2022 also kind of correlated with a lot of layoffs happening since COVID-19. You can see here Q4, Q3, Q2, the number of companies and employees laid off was quite significant. Uh, and then you you can see this giant spike, this peak Q1 2023, which relates to this absolute downturn in the market. So the point of this video isn't necessarily to tell you like, oh, everything's gonna be fine. And it's just the correction of COVID of over hiring. The purpose of this video and the, what, what I wanted to make this video about is particularly on will AI take over our programming jobs? And this seems to be kind of a split. I actually spoke to someone today who is changing their financial goals. And this is an engineer and they are saving because they think there is a strong possibility that within five years, we're going to approach this AGI AI world where a lot of the jobs for software engineers and engineers alike will be replaced and they will need some sort of income or cushion to live off of comfortably. And a lot of people have different kind of opinions. Some say hard, no, you can't replace it. Some say yes. I even asked ChatGPT, will AI take over software development jobs? And they basically gave, you know, the very funny conclusion. AI is unlikely to take over software development jobs entirely. Instead, it will transform the nature of these jobs, augmenting developers' capabilities and automating routine tasks. Now, I think that is quite a golden statement from good old chat Jippity 4.0. I think a lot of people are forgetting that being a software engineer isn't just about writing code. I know that's like a crazy statement to make, but the majority of a software engineer's job isn't how fast, how nice, how elegant they write code. It's how do you solve a problem that's ambiguous and complex? And there's so many different components to that job. One of those components is to write code, to write software, to define functions, and make those functions in a application that's deployed or a feature. But that's only one component. And even inside that one component of programming or writing software, you can branch off to many different ways. Are you just writing scripts? Are you writing pretty mundane, simple functions? How complex and how is the organization of your code for future engineers to come in and dabble in? Or how foolproof is your code? Or is there hidden bugs? Well, there are always hidden bugs, but you get my point. It's really up to the tasks and the author, the engineer on on how complex they write their code. And AI has given us the tools to make our code take less time to write. Engineers, although we do and may enjoy writing code and click clacking on our keyboard, what we really enjoy, and I'm speaking for myself, is solving problems and making things work, seeing something tick, 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 tick successfully, getting users, making money, driving impact. Of course, that's all driven by the action of writing code. However, it's the fact when it all comes together, which is really the rewarding part. And so what AI does and what our homie Chad GPT just said is that it will augment developers' capabilities and automate routine tasks. And that's kind of where I see AI for the next foreseeable future. I don't believe it's going to replace a software engineer entirely. I don't know when, I don't know how safe I can say that, but right now I'm perfectly comfortable stating and admitting that I use chat GPT to define a function for me, or if I'm not familiar with the language to write the code in that language into something I can use and, and write and get, you know, uh, acquainted with. I don't believe that this this doom that AI has taken over the jobs 
which relates to this graph going down. I think overall we saw the correction of COVID and I think the majority of this graph is 